Hi there, it's Julie Davison. Today I'm going to show you how to make this pop out swing card that was inspired by Don Griffith. I love the movement of this card. This is one of three cards in my January series for my Stamp of the Month Club. And each month I get a new stamp set and three different card designs, a card kit to make all of those cards. So here are the other two for January featuring the Sheltering Tree stamp set from the Occasions catalog. And um, today I'm going to show you how to make this fun pop out swing card. We're starting with just an eight and a half by five and a half sheet of cardstock. So this is a half a sheet of cardstock, just a regular card size, and it will help if you score it in the middle so that you can see the full card front because the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take the square collection framelits. This is the square that's about three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and you're going to cut out the the front of the card. So I've got it almost equal edges with a little bit more here at the top. And you're going to want to do that in, this is Pool Party. I also did it in Real Red. So I'm switching the layers so that I have a blue layer with the red card and a red layer with the blue card. Here's the other card that I used with those same pieces of cardstock. This features the Hello Life stamp set from the Occasions catalog. Okay, so we've got our layers here. The next piece that gets stamped is going to be on this white piece of cardstock, and this is just a 3x3 three three piece of white cardstock. We're also going to use a piece of white cardstock that is 5 inches by 6 inches, and this is going to be for the inside part that pops out. So we're going to score the cardstock with the 6 inch, 6 inch side at the top, and we're going to score it at 2 inches. 4 inches. So we've got two or three rather two inch segments. And then I'm going to punch a decorative border here at the top. So I'm using the Hearts Border Punch and they fit just perfectly in those little two inch segments. So I'm going to do two little border pieces like that. And now we are ready to put our card together. I'm going to switch and bring in the pieces that I have stamped here ahead of time. Again, that was three inches for the white piece, and this was the red that I die cut. And I have a little piece of um, half inch by three and a quarter inches for the greeting and the inside that we just scored and punched. I put some sticky strip on the third panel over, so it's the one on the far edge, and we're going to do a zigzag fold like that. So this is what's going to adhere to the inside of the card. And we're going to go ahead and peel off the sticky strip and put that down in the card. I like to have a nice even border between the edges and the side there. So I've got that down. You want to make sure that that plain side pops out like that. And then on the square piece I put sticky strip on the right side. So when you flip it you want to make sure because the other part's going to hang out. So I've got two pieces of sticky strip and I like the sticky strip just because it's a nice strong adhesive and I know that it's really going to stick and my card's not going to fall apart. So I'm going to go ahead and close the card and then just line up the square right in the window and it sticks to that little springy part. But that's so easy. Last thing on this card is just adding the greeting here in the front, and I used a few Stampin' Dimensionals to do that. And there you have the finished card. So easy to make this pop-out swing card. I hope you'll give it a try at home. Thanks so much for watching. Happy stamping!